I'm going to win a million dollars. So, uh, talk to me about this. This is amazing. You know, we talk about these aliens, and what did you say? We're, we're really going to know about them in 2027? 2027, you know, it might be moving up. Hence the reason why we had that big thing this year. The, uh, the EAS on yeah. what Wednesday, where everybody in America's phone went crazy. Here we go. Well, uh, there's one company that says if you can give us proof of aliens, we'll give you a million dollars. Okay. Have you ever met anybody in your entire life that's seen an alien? No. I've talked to Travis Walton. Okay, from Arizona. Yes. Who was uh, in the movie that uh, uh, honestly scared me for about four years. Fire in the sky. It was It was awful. It was about him. He was abducted up in Snowflake, Arizona, disappeared for three days, him and the loggers, and... Uh, Took a uh, lie detector test, it. and yeah. they all passed. They all and, passed. Still do to this day. Right. And to this day, he says that they didn't take him up there to do bad things to him. Yeah. He, he apparently, he says, I don't know if you knew this, he was too close to the ship. It was an accident. And whatever the, the ship was giving off, um, what, damaged him? Yeah. And so they took him up and to make sure he's okay. he better. Yeah. Because well. they thought he kind of got sucked up in the, uh, uh, like the conveyor belt. <laughs> right, there. right. Well, that's what, right. You got oh, go to go. We got to fix this guy now. All right. Click, clack. Look what you did. So now, what is it? Uh, we've got uh, a big time company. A lot of us use it. And they're saying, if you can find an alien, we'll pay you a million dollars. Attention, all <laughs> you alien hunters and UFO spotters. There is a now a million dollar bounty. For video of extraterrestrial activity, the home security company Ring says it will, pay, it will pay a million dollars to someone who captures... Why is she laughing? You gotta take this seriously for crying out loud. Says it, will, it will pay a million dollars to someone who captures scientific evidence of a, quote, real extraterrestrial life form yeah. on one of their surveillance cameras. Stop <laughs> laughing. It's real. It's going to be awesome when Spock rings my doorbell and I record it and I win this million-dollar prize. I'm trying to figure out, like, I, I, and I say that, how do we hmm. go and confirm that you've got an alien? Because wouldn't you want DNA testing? It's not just, look, if I'm giving you a million bucks, <laughs> I want some testing. But right? how are they going to know if we're faking it? Why don't you, let me just put this out there. Uh, let's use your daughter, five-year-old Charlie. Put her in a little space outfit. Put her in front of the ring doorbell. See if you get a million bucks. Wouldn't like, do you it want? At night, do it at night. Make it real sketchy. You know, just try and figure it out. Wouldn't you want, uh, you know, real, like, hey, I need some proof, you right? I, it looks like it's interesting. They don't want proof. They want a picture. Okay, so I give them a picture. How right. many people are going to be sending a pictures of people dressed like aliens? I thought most of these aliens come inside your backyard. That's not where your ring doorbell is. You You're don't not have one go, in the backyard? No. No. Why would they have a ring doorbell in the backyard? Why wouldn't you? In the backyard? Well, but a ring no camera, ringing. not a doorbell. Right. That's why I don't yeah. have a ring doorbell in the back. Yeah. I've got cameras in the back. Oh, so so the, what you're, think, based on your thing is yeah, they go and they have to ring the doorbell. That's the way I'm taking it, literally. No, okay. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> that's what I'm doing. That's how I'm taking it. An alien <laughs> has to ring your doorbell. No soliciting except aliens. Right. Right. That's it. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right. What's the main reason you think they're doing this? Uh, it is. It publicity is great. A spoof. It's Halloween. But you know what? If I would have done instead of this stuff for Halloween, I would have done Catch a Ghost because you could have probably done that and given out a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah. But but nobody's talking about ghosts. Everybody's talking about aliens. Especially the one in Mexico that was the size of this piece of paper. Peruvian. And, yeah. There's smaller was, people. It had eggs in it, right? Eggs. Have we heard anything from that little alien in a box? Yeah, there's a fight right now between Me Mexico will not get could Peru wants those things back and Mexico's all no. They're like, "No." Well, I mean, did anybody else do, you know, like put it through an MRI or something like that? Just Mexico any? and now Peru wants them back and they're saying, "No, you're not getting them back." Well, who who owns the This uh, guy stole them fair and square. Yeah, there and they're you in go. Mexico now. So if you're based in, on everything, they should be wandering over here anytime soon. Uh, welcome, Matt. We'll be opened up by our president. <laughs> if you had, 
if you had that little alien in a box that was put in front of the Mexican Congress, you could go right up in front of your doorbell, ring it, and then just hold it up. That's a million dollars. So, but they could say, look, it looks real. <laughs> okay. Okay, but now I want my million bucks because they, I think they have UFOologists that are going to be looking are, at this. They're going to dispute I don't even all know what of them. That means. Uh, I just, I, my whole thought process is though, when you want some sort of actual proof, Besides a picture. I think that it's a sideshow, and they're just they're totally screwing So what with- you're telling us is Ring is not a company of their word <laughs> right. looking to give somebody a million dollars based on the fact that they might find an actual picture, and they will fight it tooth and nail saying, we don't have the actual proof. That is correct. So I will not be entering the contest. I'm not uh, excited about it. Uh, it's you know you you have a better chance of winning the lottery than an alien coming and ringing. Oh yeah, play that this weekend. Everybody going out and buying their tickets at one point four billion. Why not? A few bucks change your yeah, life. A couple man. bucks, man. Take half of it, right? That's what you it's do. Okay. All yeah, right. you're walking away with six seven hundred million dollars. Yeah.